Ted Cruz today is calling for a federal investigation after protests turned violent in Portland, Oregon over the weekend. <laughs> so then here is the scene. Antifa protesters appear to attack a conservative journalist. His name is Andy No. He's caught up in the middle of this thing by himself who posted a picture of his face after visiting the emergency room. Here is how that happened. I just got beat up by the crowd, no police at all, um, in the middle of the street, and they stole my GoPro, and they punched me several times in my face, in my head, I'm bleeding. So Cruz is now seeking legal action against the mayor in Portland, who's also the police commissioner in the aftermath of this protest. William Lajanes picks up the story from there, live in L.A. with more now. William, good morning. Good morning, Bill. The question being asked today, did the Portland mayor and police allow hundreds of left-wing protesters to attack a handful of conservatives on Saturday? In one incident, a group of masked men, as you saw, hospitalized a right-leaning blogger while police stood by. Demonstrators used pepper and bear spray. They threw quick-drying cement and raw eggs at a minority, marching for, in their words, patriotism and prayer. So photos show cuts and bruises to Andy No's face, prompting Senator Ted Cruz to claim liberal Democratic mayor Ted Wheeler purposely allowed the attack, quoting, to federal law enforcement investigate and bring action against the mayor who has, for political reasons, ordered his police officers to let citizens be attacked by domestic terrorists. The U.S. ambassador to Germany also tweeted, quoting, this was a premeditated attack on someone because intolerant radicals don't like Andy, who happens to be gay, Asian, and conservative. They targeted him bef publicly before the protest. Mayor Ted Wheeler knew this was coming. The people of Oregon must speak up. The politicians in Portland, where was the mayor? Why, where were the cops? Even in Washington, D.C., you have left-wing politicians like Maxine Waters actively encouraging violence against conservatives. So last year, the union representing ICE employees asked the feds to investigate Wheeler for abandoning them during a violent protest and for allowing Antifa groups to block traffic and harass drivers, a charge that Wheeler denies. I want to be clear that as police commissioner, we do not police based on the content of speech. We will continue to support the safe expression of First Amendment rights. So uh, police eventually called this a civil disturbance and ordered the individuals uh, protesting to disperse, eight injured, three arrest. We'll see what happens from now on. Okay, William, thank you for that. William Lodinas with a follow-up there in L.A.